today we are in my living room kitchen area um, filming a DIY that is in collaboration with my friend Sam who I will link her video channel in the description down below along with the video for the collab that we're doing today. I'm so excited. What we're doing is we're basically making these um, fishbowl snowman. I, I found it on Pinterest and I thought it was really cute. And it's versatile enough that you could actually make it any way that you want. Well, the original project calls for a lot of these miniatures and these huge fish bowls, and it's just, it, it, it's a really expensive project if you don't already have these things. So I thought, what if I could take this project and turn it into a dollar store haul? Now, not everything in this video is from the dollar store. I did go to Michael's and purchase some snow, but I also found white sand that's for, I don't know, decorations. But it's white sand that I think would also work for this DIY. I just, it was on sale. It was like $1.50, so, you know, it was half off. Um, and then this was also from Michaels as well. And then these were $2.99, but they were 50% off, so I, I bought them because they're little mini trees. But my dollar store had these two different sized fish bowls, and I thought this would be really great to use for a little stackable two-sized uh, snowman. And of course, a pet hat, because my cats don't like hats, but I have them anyways. <laughs> So I actually already had this, but if you don't have something like this, you could crochet one relatively easy. You can find DIY instructions all over the internet for how to crochet or knit these things. And if you don't want to do that, you could probably get some felt and hot glue it into the shape of a snowman hat. But, all right, let's get started on this decorating. So I'm just showing you all of the things that I'm going to end up using. Um, the bottom of this fishbowl, I wanted to get the sticker off, and I tried just scratching it, but it makes this little noise that cringe. Ugh, that's so bad. So I just took it to the sink and put some water on it, and the sticker came off that way. For the bigger one, I figured you're not going to be able to see the sticker, so I didn't bother taking that one off. With the gingerbread cookie house, I wanted to see if I could open it because I didn't want it in its package, but it's so cute! I'm just taking the uh, little ribbon off, and I'm going to actually use this later, but I'm trying to carefully open it without breaking anything on the house, and then... Uh, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I broke it. Well, it's hollow. So for the big one, I'm going to use the snow flurries, and I'm just sort of filling it up in the bottom of the terrarium bowl, and I think that's enough. Then I'm just placing the gingerbread house inside and taking the trees to sort of decorate around the house. So now on the second one, I wanted to use the sand instead just to see if it was any different and I'm just burying the Santa in there <laughs> with some trees. Isn't that cute? I thought that was so cute. And I'm just measuring out the gold tinsel and cutting it to length. Here we go. There's a little ribbon, because I like ribbons. And let's put the hat on. And there you go. That's how you make a little snow globe snowman. Oh, I will say, it might not be a bad idea, especially if you use plastic things instead of a gingerbread cookie, to go ahead and glue the head on. But because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to eventually throw that away, I'm not gonna glue the head on, so that way, whenever I need to, I can just throw that away. But, a couple of other options that you can do that I didn't do because I don't wanna deal with paint again, is you can paint on buttons, you can paint on eyes, and things like that. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and be sure to check out Sam's video on her channel, and let us know, who do you think did it better? 
Who do you think won? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> but I'm sure whatever she comes out with is going to be super awesome. And I'm going to be leaving my comment down in her comment section so that way you can see what I thought of her video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so that way you never miss a post whenever I upload new videos. And hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you, I don't know, like snowmen because I've been doing a lot of snowmen DIYs. So anyways, that's all I have for you guys today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.